This message is for all my moms who may feel like you're at your breaking point. I just wanted to start this video off by telling you, you got this. Good morning. <sighs> so. We are already late. <laughs> gonna be 90 degrees today look at my big girl she freaking just fell asleep with her book and her teddy bear because it's gonna be 90 let's see what she's gonna wear i'm probably let her put on her little shorts <laughs> Little jean shorts. I've been um trying to record reels on Soraya's Instagram. Make sure y'all follow my baby on Instagram at Soraya Ratio. I've been very consistent with posting her every day. Let me get ready. Baby shirt, and this is a 2T from Old Navy. A 2T, and look, it is so big. She would have been so cute. That's okay, we can fix it. Okay, we went old school and we fixed the problem. Turn around, baby. See you back. <laughs> Listen, say, I was wearing my shirt anyway. Not her back huh, baby? What you say? Her back yeah, we went to the hibachi last night. The hibachi. Yeah, it was hot. So, we rushing, but we ready. And I recorded a reel on my big girl's page. And she was so cute. Cheerios. I'm going to take it with us in the car. Her school serves breakfast. Good job at, co Good job at covering your mouth. But I like to just get for this to eat in the car. Okay. Okay. okay, two hands. We have a lot of leftovers from the hibachi place yesterday. So I'm just gonna take that in my little lunch bag. And then when I get home today, I'm going to cook some salmon. I'm going to do the smell test. This Araya ate so good at that place. Like, she was eating all her food. Look at all of this food. So much. This is my lunch. We're here. You know it's gonna be a good day because I got my breakfast and my lunch and baby girl is to school. Mama, they're home. Run at home, baby. We're at school. See? Kisses. Hi, beautiful. Good Hi, morning. Baby. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come in, okay? We Don't do that. Come in. Look how excited he was to see you, big girl. Oh, sorry, stop back. That little boy that <laughs> ran to um <laughs> to the door to hug Soraya. That's her little buddy. And um they fight, they play. She was not feeling him this morning. You see how he said, Raya, Raya. He ran to the door and Soraya was like, step back, give me space. It's early in the morning. 
My big girl, I love her so much. But I'm happy. So as y'all can see, I'm still rocking my struggle ponytail, but it's all right. Um, Cause we're going on vacation the first week of July. We are, um, and so I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna get braids or if I'm just gonna do my regular wash and set with some like pin curls or something because we're actually going to a wedding and I'm really not a braids person. I grew up with, I'm a wash and set girl, like from the Bronx, always been going to the Dominican since I was like six, I think or five. So this here is fried, honey. It's used to being washed, blow dried and flat ironed. So I'm rocking my struggle pony with the grays out until then. But it's all right. I'm confident in the way I look. And I already got a man. It's like you shouldn't say that because that's a whole nother topic. Oh, no. That railroad would not get me this morning. The tracks is down. I will go around. Um, I wanted to also talk to y'all briefly about something. I posted a reel on my Facebook and my Instagram. Follow me on both of those platforms at, at It's Me Ray. And if you are still here, please make sure you comment down below. Subscribe. I need you to, my New York guy, subscribe. I need you to subscribe to my channel and I need you to put a comment down below and say subscribe to let me know that you did it. Anyway, I posted a reel and it was, you know how when you hear those sounds, those like popular audios, you can save it and recreate it. So it was like a sound of a mom. She was saying like this wonderful, powerful, motivating message to moms about us feeling like, um, you know, us feeling like we're not doing enough or we don't got this and just feeling, you know, like, the things that we feel as moms and I totally re related to the sound so I used it to recreate a reel and in the reel I basically just did a day in a life of like a working mom and I just recorded exactly like what you guys still saw me do this morning like I recorded me getting Soraya up getting her ready us getting ready for work me at work and then me coming home cooking dinner the routine and I posted it on my social media and so I'm married my husband is not really a social media person, so you guys really won't see him at all. Um, let me put y'all right here while I back into this parking spot. Um, so I posted it, and of course, it got a lot of attention because of the video and because of the words that the lady was saying. It was like really powerful. So you looking like a single mom out here. And I thought to myself, I'm feeling like one. <laughs> and I say this because, and comment down below if you can relate, if you are a married single mom, that is a thing. Trust me, look up the hashtag married single mom on Twitter, Instagram, or whatever social media platform. And you will see many women having this discussion about them being married and feeling like they are a single mom. Some women um, that are stay-at-home moms really promote this because of the husband working outside of the household they're home all day with the kids so you feel like a single mom because your husband is working and I can relate because you know um I have Soraya and then my stepdaughter who's 13 moved in with us um and so I have a teenager and I have a toddler and my husband works a lot so when you are the one that's home with the kids all the time it will look like you are a single mom and it's no shade to the men in your life it's just it's the reality and so um i just wanted to have a little conversation about that because it's it's not trying to diminish what he's doing as a dad financially it's just this is the reality that most women well it's i don't want to say most but a lot of women that i know whether the father was in the household or not they just ended up doing everything <laughs> And I don't know if it's our culture. I don't know if other cultures experience this as well, where the woman is the, the main um, care person for the kids and for the household, whether the husband or baby daddy is in the household or not. 
it's unfortunate but it's 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 our reality and it's my reality um and i feel like i'm killing it with no experience soraya is the first diaper that i changed anyway let me get in here and go to work i'll talk to y'all later because I was just while I was doing the mail for my job I, I separate the mail and do the um checks I was watching um Peach McIntyre and honey when I tell you homegirl is so motivating right now she's doing a 200 100 day challenge and she motivated me to post the vlog that I just posted so I hope you guys watched it I'll link it above. She be her, her little slogan is from food stamps to six figures, and I'm like, yes, sister. <laughs> Trying to get there, honey. I don't even need six figures. Just give me five a month, <laughs> baby. It is hot. When I say it is hot, it is hot. Hot, hot. That's one thing about North Carolina. It'll say that it's like 80 something and it'll feel like 100. On my way to pick up my baby girl, yesterday when she got in the car, of course, the first thing she asked for was a snack, which is her usual. But she said, park! Because she remember yesterday morning, I said I was gonna take her to the park. But we didn't go to the park because we went out to dinner. It's so hot, but I'll see if we can stop at the park today. Because, baby, them, sw them um, slides and the swings, it be so hot. Like, whoo. Hibachi you go. You still talking about the hibachi restaurant? <laughs> yeah, you had so much fun there, right? Hibachi hot. Yep, it was hot. The way you hot. Mm-hmm. The way you hot when it was a fire. It's a fire. What did I say about Sanaa? I mean, Soraya and her snacks. What did you say to mommy? Thank you. You're welcome. How much is gas where y'all live at? Here in North Carolina at the um, show, this one is $4.41. $4.41. But because I have a little rewards, I think I was able to get $0.13 cent knocked off. So that's not too bad. Comment down below. Oh, my hair Look at this crazy. little girl. Soraya. <laughs> I need you to stand up. I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Good job at listening. Give mommy a... Oh. <laughs> Come on, we're going to cook dinner. Go get your steps. Get the steps. Get the steps. So you can help. Get the steps. Where's your steps? Oh. You know what? I think it's upstairs. We forgot it upstairs. It's okay. I can sit you up here, okay? Oh, yeah. I'm all for a quick meal, and what really saves me during the week is my air fryer. Um, have y'all ever made? Have y'all ever made salmon in the air fryer? I'm gonna try to season it and put it in the air fryer and see how it come out. I did it one time. I didn't like the way it came out. What's wrong? But I'm gonna see how it works. I'm gonna see how it works now. So this is how it looks seasoned. I just put a, a bunch of seasonings. 
I have just a few potatoes boiling and then we're gonna have this, this with a vegetable. I'm gonna just try to look on YouTube real quick to see um, how people usually put it in there. Leave that Soraya, big girl, big girl. Mm. Great, that's so great, Soraya. So Soraya's been very whiny while I've been trying to cook. So that tells me that she's yearning for my attention. Usually we have little one-on-one -on -one time upstairs in her room right after her um her bath, but I guess right now we could do our little activities. So, big girl, let's work on our letters. I'm gonna write it down, point to it, and I'm gonna ask you what letter it is, and then you tell me, okay? Okay, high five. You ready? Let's play. What's that? A. What sound does the A make? Good job, big girl. Boom. Good job. You so high five. So smart. Yeah, somebody's calling me. Next. Next letter. What letter is that? D. This one right here. D. Mm -mm. E. It makes the sound go b b. What letter is that? A. A. Okay. What's this one? Bye bye bye. What letter is that? Hmm? Mm. I put a little some butter on top. And I tasted a little small piece right there. It tastes yummy. Yummy. I know one thing. It's nothing like fresh mashed potatoes. Like I had tried the box in the instant before, and it's just something about powder turning to substance that weirds me out. It don't taste good at all. You hear this little girl? I had to cook through this wine in the entire time. Blow it. You gotta blow it. Blow it some more. A little bit more. Blow it. Mm. Yeah, you gotta okay, I put a little barbecue sauce on Soraya's, but we got string beans, mashed potatoes, and salmon for my big girl. The baby, my big girl is in the bed. It's not even nine yet. It's like eight fifty-five. God is good, and good. I'm tired. I, it's like whenever we are, you know, downstairs and I'm getting dinner ready and um, I'm just thinking about everything that I'm, I plan to do when I put her to bed and it's like, the it's so draining <laughs> to put a busy toddler to bed that you have to chase, like I literally have to chase her to get her into the bath. Like literally, like she runs all around the house. Chase her to get her in the bath, chase her to put her clothes on, chase her, chase her, chase her, chase her. And it just, I'll be so tired. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get myself together and then we do it all over again tomorrow. And I'm just so happy that you guys got to see again, you know, a day in my life because this is the reason why I prolonged, you know, being consistent on YouTube because I honestly feel like I live a very basic, boring life. And I don't know if anybody would want to watch that as daily vlogs. That's why I love to do sit down videos and do a lot of this. I love to talk. So that's why I do short term, short form content. It's easy. But I really, really feel in my heart, in order for me to grow on YouTube, I have to put out a video every day. That's the God honest truth. Um, so if you are, you know, subscribed to me, please leave a comment down below to give me some video ideas because, you know, I really want to be consistent. And I think showing me, showing y'all my daily life is kind of boring because we really don't do much like i go i drop soraya off go to work come home cook do it all over again 
Weekends is when we get lit. Um, and when we travel. So I had a few videos that I was watching that I want to catch up on. I don't know if y'all follow Martin Lewis, but he's like a YouTube, YouTube reaction channel. And he's been doing this like now it's like part five, this long series about Keisha Kaylee, Keisha Anderson on YouTube. She's a daily vlogger who I watch. Like she vlogs her life every single day. And she's grown, she's real big on YouTube now. And because of that, she has a lot of drama within her life. And this guy, Martin Lewis, he did, a, um, what do you call it? A series recapping the drama that's in her life. And it's entertaining to me. And um, I started watching part five earlier while I was at work, but I'm gonna finish watching the rest of it in a little while. What else was I watching? I was watching my girl. Peach McIntyre, she's so motivating. I was watching her. Who do y'all watch on YouTube? Like, it's so crazy how different stages of my life determines the people that I watch on YouTube. Before I was married, before I had Soraya, I really used to watch, like, and it was like a form of manifesting, honestly. I used to watch a lot of, like, mom life, stay at home, um, stay at home wife life, um, homemakers, you know, home decor. Like I, would, I would follow those cha those channels like Nitra B, um, who else? At home with Nikki. Um, she's she's in her apron. Um, marriage and motherhood, like those type of channels. Faithfully, this is when I guess I was manifesting marriage and being a mom. Like I really was like, I want to be a homeowner. So those are the type of channels that I watch. But deep down, I really like reality TV. I like the drama. It's entertaining. And then that's how I got transitioned over to people who vlog their daily lives. But most of the vloggers that's consistent on YouTube tubers are people that are in their twenties. I'm in my thirties, and they don't have a lot of responsibilities like me. But I like watching them. So leave a comment down below. Tell me who do y'all watch on YouTube? I want y'all to watch me. <laughs> um, yeah, and speaking of YouTube, okay, after this, and I'm gonna start getting myself ready. I was doing some research on my channel earlier. I got paid from YouTube before. In 2018, I'm gonna see if I can enter a screenshot. AdSense, Google AdSense sent me a check for almost $200. And I was like, you know what? This was way before YouTube changed the qualifications in order to be a part of the YouTube Partner Program. I don't even think it was called YouTube Partner at that time. It was just anybody can post on YouTube and based on how many views you got, you can sign up for Google AdSense and then they'll send you a check. So that's what happened to me. I posted a bunch of wedding videos because I was planning my wedding, DIY wedding. And I only had like a few videos and I felt like my total views, I got to check the numbers. I'll check it and I'll insert the screenshot. But it wasn't a lot of views and I didn't have that many videos at the time. And YouTube paid me. So I felt like because of that one check that I received in 2018, it's really what kept me motivated to continue to do YouTube because I did see that there is a possibility to earn money for your content. Um, but then it was shortly after that YouTube changed the partner program and you had to have 4,000 watch hours and a thousand subscribers. So I, I, I meet one of the two requirements. I have over a thousand subscribers, but I'm not even close to 4,000 watch hours. Like I feel like I'm like at seven and some change, 700 and some change watch hours. And I have so many YouTube videos. So I'm really trying to get my watch time up because I want to hit the monetization bonus. There's also something on YouTube called the shorts fund where you can get money for the shorts that you post. I post shorts every single day. Shorts are TikTok like short videos under 60 seconds. Um, so yeah, your girl is just trying to secure an additional income. You know, I'm so blessed to be married, to be living in a two-income household, but you know, I want to do more. Like, 
Soraya is too. And I feel like my goal is to pay for her to go to school, meaning a private school. If I can't pay for a, a private school and she ends up going to public school for kindergarten, I want to have enough money to pay for my daughter to do extracurricular activities, tutoring every month, because I want her to reach her, po her full potential in life. And she's already shown me that she has a natural gift with a great memory. She's very smart. And I need to nurture her God-given talents. And in order to do that, you got to have a lot of money. And I can't just depend on my husband. <laughs> I can talk to y'all forever about this. But, um, yes, yeah, so please share my videos. You know, the audience that I feel like I speak to are young black women, um, young professionals, young moms. I'm a first-time mom. I'm a stepmom, so I can speak to that community. I am, um, I would say, first-generation married, um, first-generation homeowner, um, first-generation me and my husband moved out the hood and now living, you know, in the freaking boondocks of North Carolina. <laughs> from the Bronx. Like I'm from the city. Um, I went to HBCU. I'm a part of a sorority. I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta. So I have plenty of markets that I can cater to. Um, I was a stay at home, stay at home mom slash wife for a while. Um, I'm a truck wife. My husband is in the trucking industry. So there are several demographics that I speak to. And if you know someone that can relate to any of those, send them my video. You know, bring your girl some subscribers. <laughs> okay, at this point, it's already nine minutes. Um, I'm about to take my shower and I'm going to call it a night. And I guess I will pull this camera back out tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I need you to turn on the notification so that you'll know when I upload. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank y'all. Good night.